In this video, I'm going to give you a status update on the Q1 goals that I had set for myself. We're now in Q2, so it's time to deal with the Q2 stuff. And to be honest with you, since my original video where I kind of talked about the goals that I had for all of the year and I kind of broke it down by quarter, things have changed a little bit for Q2. So I want to talk about that. I know that I'm a couple weeks into Q2 already. Uh, things have changed a little, <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll get into it in a minute. But yeah, I just want to give you an update. The main goal that I had for Q1 was an ambitious goal, but it was something that I was just going to focus on by itself. And that was attending Western Governors University and going for my bachelor's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance. My goal was to finish it in, well, I guess to finish it in half a term because I wanted to finish it by the end of March. And so I did. There's a lot that goes into it. I have a bunch of other videos covering it, but long story short here, that goal, I set as much time as I could aside to work on it, and I was able to accomplish that. It's also probably worth noting that as part of that degree, I passed two other third-party certifications. So I also got the uh, ITIL version four foundations, and I got the CompTIA Pentest Plus. Since I finished my main goal a little bit earlier than I had originally planned, I decided to take a goal from Q2 and just move it up into Q1, which means that I decided, okay, let's go ahead and work on the CCSP by ISC squared. And so if I can go ahead and knock out that certification, then it'll make Q2 a little bit easier. Unfortunately, I studied, there's no excuse here. I studied, I tried, I took the exam and I failed. I'll be honest with you, I consider that to be kind of a nice to have certification, not necessarily a certification that I really, really wanted for my career. So the fact that I failed it, while it sucks, it's not the end of the world, but I don't plan on taking it again. So instead, I have different goals set up now for Q2. But it's not because of that failure. It's actually because just a lot of things have changed. Before we talk about the Q2 goals, I do want to quickly mention and talk about my job situation, because if you guys have been following along, you know that Q1, the company that I was working for was going to get acquired. And I was kind of nervous whether I'd have a job or not, if you know my responsibilities would change, if I was going to get demoted and lose a lot of money, there's just a lot of things in there. And so I do have quick updates for you there. So let me give you these updates and then we'll talk about Q2. I am happy to say that I still have a job. You know, when you talk about mergers and acquisitions, sometimes you, you end up losing your job and some people unfortunately did. But for me, I am still employed, which is great. My job title has definitely changed as well as my responsibilities. So I am no longer a GRC manager. As of right now, my title is IT Security Operations Specialist Principal. And uh, that's that's a mouthful, but that is technically my new job title. It may change again uh, in the short term. I'm not really sure. But I think the main thing that I can tell you guys is it looks like my responsibilities are going to be very different, too. I mean, I've already kind of talked with the boss and, um, you know, they're talking about me potentially doing a, a bit of scripting and programming and setting up automation, which uh, if you guys know me, I more kind of like security and risk management, maybe more GRC. But in this particular situation, it looks like I'm going to be far more like technical, hands-on, maybe engineering. So it's, it's definitely a different change for me, but it's something that I'm super excited to do because I just love security in general and um, I, I kind of miss programming. So it's going to be nice to, to get into that. But that's just a quick update on my job. Just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. I probably won't give you another job update because I think I've been you know giving you quite a few. Um, the situation is what it is. I'm excited to move forward. There's a tremendous amount of opportunity to learn and grow with this new company. So I'm excited. Quickly talking about what my goals were for Q2 is I had three certifications that I felt like I was going to get, which was going to be the CISM by ISACA, the CEH Practical by eConsole, and the CCSP by ISC Squared. And optionally, I was thinking I'd maybe do the CISA but I really didn't like studying for it, so I didn't think I was gonna do that. Honestly, I think that the goals that I had set for Q2 were pretty ambitious still. I mean, getting more than one certification in a quarter is not something that I'm used to doing. Uh, it was gonna require a lot of work and studying, but uh, yeah, instead of making it easier on myself, I've just decided to make it even harder and go for even more goals than, uh, than I originally set. My certification goals for Q2 have changed. And with the new Q2 goals, I've basically decided that I am going to deal with the certifications that I wanna do the least, but I think they're the most impactful and helpful for me in my career. Not actually for the role that I have right now, but for the future. And what I'm talking about is it's time to get this ISACA stuff done. 
I tried to get the CISM last year. I filled it by six points. It's been in the back of my mind forever. So the CISM is still one of my goals for this quarter, but it's, it's gonna be my first priority and I'm gonna try to get it by the end of the month. Also, there are two more ISACA certifications that I am very likely to get, even though I'm not super interested in them, and that is the CISA. So we are gonna go for CISA this quarter, and I might go for C-Risk as well. It, I know it sounds a little bit weird to, to go for certifications, especially ones that I'm not super interested in, but I mean, I, I always pay attention to what people are looking for. I'm not looking for another job, but I am paying attention to what jobs are asking you to get and what they want you to have. And the three for kind of like senior level management stuff is the CISSP, the CISA, and the CISM. So instead of you know delaying this and being frustrated later on that I have to take it, I might as well just study and get it done now. I just wanna quickly clarify that when I say I'm not super interested in them, it's not that I think they're bad certifications, it's more so just that it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to truly apply them uh, after I've studied and gotten those certifications. Like if you think about, let's say for example, I don't know, some type of uh, security certification that might be pen testing, maybe even security plus, something like that, they allow you to kind of, with the knowledge that you gain from them, you can go set up you know, virtual labs and things, you can practice these concepts, you can really use them and apply them kind of immediately. Whereas when you're studying something like a security risk management framework, or you're studying uh, just kind of overall management based things, if you're not a manager, or if you're not responsible for you know creating policies and things like that, you can't really apply that as well. It's still important to know the information, but there's a difference between knowing it versus being able to actually immediately apply it. And because my role has sort of shifted and changed, I may not have the opportunity to apply that immediately, which is why I'm not super interested in the certification. But I'm still getting it because I know even if it doesn't help me now, it'll help me in the future. I'm gonna add one more certification as an optional certification for Q2. And that's gonna be something that you may not have even heard of because it's pretty new. It's called the CPTS. It's by Hack the Box. And it is called the wait, CPTS, Certified Penetration Testing Specialist. The reason why this is optional, by the way, is just because I'm gonna be using Hack the Box and Try Hack Me when it comes to being more a part of a community than it is for me just doing it for a certification. So let me just kind of quickly talk about that a bit. While I am absolutely interested in pen testing, I know it's not gonna be my main career, it's just this kind of a side hobby thing. I talked a little bit in another video about the fact that I've kind of recognized that I need to be more involved. I need to get out more in my personal life, um, but I also need to just kind of be more a part of the security community as a whole. And so the reason why I'm putting that as kind of an optional certification is because what I'm gonna be doing, I've, I've already kind of introduced myself to, to a few communities, but I am going to be getting more involved with a lot of these communities. So for example, Western Governors University, they have um, a cybersecurity club. Don't ask me how to get in. I can't remember how I got in, but they have a cybersecurity club. And um, you know they do like try hack me events, capture the flag events, things like that. And I wanna be a part of that community. I wanna to grow and help them. I wanna help others. I wanna learn. And there's an opportunity to do that. So. I am gonna be focusing on that. And Try Hack Me and Hack the Box is a big part of that. There's also a community in Georgia. They have their own like little DEF CON events and things like that. And so I've introduced myself to them as well. And I will be probably joining their monthly meetups. And soon I'll be doing their Try Hack Me events as well and just learning and growing from them and helping them out. It's just, it's, it's a great opportunity to learn. So it's not my main priority but it is something that I'm going to be definitely paying attention to uh, this quarter in Q2. I don't wanna wait and push this out to Q3 or Q4. I need to start meeting people and, and really being involved sooner than later. So that's why I'm doing it. One last thing I should quickly mention as far as goals go is my weight. I technically started off the year at 194. I said I wanted to, at some point this year, be between 180 to 185. I currently weigh over 200 pounds, so I kind of went completely in the opposite direction. I've been eating, what can I say? Um, so to make this more of a measurable goal and make this something that I can hold myself accountable for, I'm setting a goal this quarter of losing five pounds a month. This is something I'll track on my own, 
But uh, I just wanted to throw that out there so I can continue to hold myself accountable. Got to get this weight down. Got to eat a little bit better. And I'm going to try to juggle that while still doing the rest of the stuff that I need to do. If you're wondering how my Invisalign journey is going, it's actually working. And I am shocked. But I will save that for a dedicated video all on its own. You know, my throat is starting to hurt. So let's just summarize all of this up and then I'll let you guys go. Four main focus areas that I'm doing for this quarter. Number one is my job. I got a new job, new roles. I'm excited for it. Might be some scripting and programming in there, but you guys know if you get a new job, you really, really need to focus on that. So that's going to be a big part of this quarter. Number two is ISACA certifications, specifically the CISA, CISM, and probably C-Risk as well. Number three is being a part of the community, getting out a little bit more, um, attending some events. That's something that I'm going to try to work on this quarter. I'm mainly talking about stuff with WGU Cybersecurity Club and the Atlanta uh, DEF CON events that we have here. And then number four is my weight. I weigh too damn much, so I need to work on that. And uh, that's pretty much it. Those are my main goals for Q2. Of course, in Q3, I will be getting a master's degree at WGU in something haven't decided yet. I am aware of the rumors about the cybersecurity degree changing. We'll see what happens there, but that's all for now. So until my next video, you guys take care.